over the next few months, we'll start to see more and more ads in the race for president. Here they come, and the claims in them can often be questionable. So tonight, WBZ political analyst John Keller put some of them to the truth test. This was a rigged trial by a conflicted judge who was corrupt. Even as polls show a solid majority of the all-important independent vote believes the former president got a fair trial, the Trump campaign is insisting otherwise, juxtaposing Trump's post-verdict claim. This was done by the Biden administration in order to wound or hurt an opponent, a political opponent. With this video of President Biden flashing a supposedly sinister smile in response to a reporter's question about Trump's claim. But that spin faces an uphill battle. A new CBS News YouGov poll finds 38 percent saying the verdict made them less confident in the justice system, but a whopping 62 percent saying it left them more confident or had no impact. And top fact checkers like PolitiFact are debunking the notion of Trump as a political target. From midnight tweets to drinking bleach to tear gassing citizens and staging a photo op, we knew Trump was out of control when he was president. Biden's newest ad tries to undermine positive memories some voters have of Trump's term, but claims Trump promoted drinking bleach as an antidote to COVID are a rehash falsely from the 2020 campaign. Or maybe if you drank bleach, you may be okay. Now he's running again, this time threatening to be a dictator to terminate the Constitution. If I don't get elected, it's going to be a bloodbath. Trump that comment was about potential economic to damage it. to the auto. <laughs> Trump doesn't prevail, not a threat that, of violence. But so it. far in this bitter battle, truth seems to be an early casualty. We want the same result. As yeah, call this a tale of two messages. Trump trying to amp up his base and fuel their animus toward Biden. Biden uh, going after independents and swing voters by demonizing Trump. One thing they both have in common, negativity, the hallmark of our politics these days.